Oh, and welcome to In Indigar Indigar, a indie horror game. Let's just get into it. I, I don't even really know what's about. Is there even any volume? Julia, your daughter is kidnapped in the apartment building La Hacienda. Come if you want to save her, but I warn you, if you show up with someone else or you talk to the police, I will kill her. I see you in that place in an hour. Oh, okay. So, first things first, I want to apologize for the lack of videos in the past two days. Uh, I'm not sure what I could really say. Do I have to like, skip skip or is this going to progress if I go and just skip? There better be volume or just my headset fucking up on me and I'm confused. Like, Oh, there we go. Audio, finally. It's too dark. I should find a way to turn on the lights. There we go. I ambience. Actual music. Why wasn't there any in the main menu? It was complete silence. I was making me concerned there. But yeah. Oh, why does there always have to be wax in my eyes? Like, seriously. It feels like my right eye is going to be fucked today. I don't even know. But yeah. The past two days, I haven't uploaded videos. It just, uh, I don't know if I could just say, like, the streams really fuck me up. Whenever I do streams for a long time, my sense of urgency of recording gets really messed up. I don't know how I'd be able to explain it to those that don't do YouTube, but just take my word for it. Like, I'd want to record, but it's just, it's sort of like... It's a habit. It's sort of like workout habits, if I were to compare it to anything. Spooky, spooky. Where a workout habit, if you break the cycle of your workouts... Oh, oh I can open them. What, what's the key? E? E? Feels like they just sort of randomly... Ah, oh, shit. The mouse cursor can go outside the fucking screen. God damn, it's one of these games. Okay, if I hit escape, it doesn't close it, right? Thank fucking God. All right, um, mouse cursor, will you stay in the screen for me? No, it won't. Be right back. All right, full screen then. Uh, I was just saying, so it's like a workout schedule. E? So I have to be super, super close to the door and then hit E for it to work. Might have to go back to the previous door. Um, so the workout schedule is very similar to if you get out of your schedule of recording, it just sort of gets out of your system. You gotta keep at it. It's not something you wanna... <laughs> what the fuck, sir? <laughs> That'd be good thumbnail material. That, that, that'll do. Like, it looks like it's... It doesn't look like it's water in the toilet and a person's legs are there. Would it be a mannequin? I can't tell. No one behind the shower curtain, I don't think. But nonetheless, I don't know why they think putting someone's whole body and or legs sticking out of the toilet was a funny idea. Or a scary idea for a horror game, but... Take like one of the monsters? Oh, he got flushed. No, seriously, it does not look like water. It looks... It looks like rotten yogurt, if anything. But okay, he got flushed. And he made gurgly sounds. Um, workout schedule. But yeah, it's, like, it's just like that. Um, so I just gotta get into the habit of recording again. Am I just, just, push, just pushing at it? It's, it's like, you, I, I gotta, I feel like I gotta force myself to record. You, normally, it's like you feel... If I were to try to explain it through maybe either a YouTuber's perception or it could just be me as an individual and how I get motivation, is sometimes you're just not feeling up to it, but you gotta force yourself to do it anyways. And, I mean, if I don't make videos, then it just means I'll stagnate and not grow, and not growing is a problematic thing. You don't want to not grow, obviously, especially when my channel is doing quite well and is growing at a healthy pace. The last thing I'd obviously want is to start stagnating. So it's kind of stressful because it's always in the back of your mind. You always got to be like, shit, I got to record, shit, I got to record, record, I got to record. If, I get, if you get busy or you got, this building is alive. That's stupid. So you're saying that the building killed the dude in the toilet? The building told the guy, come sit on the toilet. You have to poop, don't you? You have to poop, don't you? And then it ate him. Honey, I went to repair the hole in the wall of the guy from apartment number one. He hides the hole with a bookcase 
that falls so easily. That man is so weird. He stole three medals from a neighbor and kept them in his bedroom. Honey, I want to move. I'm sick of this place. It's I'm sick of this place. It's full of crazy people. Why only people like that live in this building? But yeah, um, I was just saying. So it's something to be in the back of your mind. So if you have a part-time job or full-time job and you're YouTubing, it's just going to be something that'll be in your mind forever. Other YouTubers basically reference that though, like PewDiePie. But anyway, if you if you take too much, too much responsibility, then yeah, it becomes problematic. Oh. The audio is not coming directly from the TV. It's coming from, like, in the center of the room. Move your audio cube to the left, goddammit. It's, like, right here. It's loud. I don't like it. Alright, next note. I came a few hours ago, but your wife... Not at home, so I entered by force. What? I took your medals. I will not return them to you until you pay me my money. Oh, so there's, there's someone had had owe money. Well, that's not good, but I mean, busting down because a wife wasn't there? What kind of poor excuse is that? So now we gotta find out what next we need to do. A wardrobe. It should be something about a wardrobe that can get knocked down easily. To show a, a hole in the wall. So we have to figure out which room they're referring to. Mm -hmm. Is that like someone rubbing their hand on a balloon? This might be it. I was loud, goddamn. Puzzle? Potential puzzle? Something? Wind square. Something wind square. Or the little. Maybe not. It looks like a. Air conditioning unit, rather. But. Yeah, that's probably it. Like, that's saying, hey, it's a wind air conditioning unit. Yeah, yeah, maybe not a puzzle. Fuck me. I'll take the metals, though. What would I do with the metals? No idea, but I don't think I entered these rooms. Ah, power. Well, that's good, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's up? Sugar the rabbit. That sounds very lewd. I mean, what rabbit isn't? This toy belongs to my daughter. Oh, she must be here. Oh, da daughter's toy, huh? Because for whatever reason, the game store page had this thing basically as the game's mascot, where it showed it in screenshots here and there. Sort of as the selling pitch visually. But, I mean, it's not exactly... It's not exactly scary, and its arms definitely look like a penis. I mean, look at the arms. Just look. I'll zoom in if I have to, if I remember in recording, or I'm in, ed in editing. That definitely looks like penis arms. Both arms just look like a dick. They look like a dick. The rabbit's head looks like a dick head. It looks like a dick head with bunny ears, let's be honest. It has dick arms, dick legs? Does it, does it have dick legs? Probably. Well, let's just say probably. It's a deformed penis rabbit with a dick head and dick arms. And probably a dick ideology. This place will eat me. Okay. When I turn on the power, something's gonna have to happen as an event or script to progress the story of where I can and can't go then. In here? What is all that? Giant, giant cans of beer? They look like cans, because if you look at that one, you can see the, the top of the can. The blue noise again? Why am I even here? I got the metal, so I guess I can just return them up. Oh, the door's open. Hello, I'm coming in. I'm just barging in. Your wife's not in here, so I'm allowed to barge in. Boop. Oh. Uh, I mean, nothing happens. 
Samuel, I'm tired of your offenses and humiliations. I love you and I always will, but I can't be with you anymore. <laughs> I know these medals make you feel horrible, but I don't understand why you get, got so upset when I pooted them in the medals holder. You were fourth place, second, and third. Never the first. You were never the best at something. You were not even a good husband. Wow. Talk about a great wife. My wife left me this morning in my tennis career. Tennis? It's all about tennis, really? My neighbor has taken my medals, but it does not matter. These second, third, and fourth medals just remind me of how mediocre and useless I am. Nah, I'm sure nobody's better than me. I'm the most talented. I am the best. Oh. I'm not even going to get psychological in that mess. So it's fourth, silver third, was it? Um, I am waiting to see if I like. Oh, we got the Silent Hill shit going on. That's pretty cool at the very least. Procedural wall slime. I'm not sure if that, that that's something you can get from uh, the Unity Store. As a, or a royalty-free asset, but, I mean, it's cool. I mean, why isn't the floor done, though? If the ceiling is, why not the floor? Like... Static? Thank God. Um... I guess let's escape the house, since the house turned into a stomach, potentially? Oh, God. It's loud as fuck, and the game is, like, frozen or something. The fuck? Is there something standing there? What? Oh, it's not frozen. It went to black. What? Did I die? What? It's a loud fucking sudden noise. My headphones were louder than probably they should have been. What happened? Seriously. Wake up, wake up. It will come back. It wants to torture you. You have to hurry. You only have a few minutes before it returns. Find a silver amulet before time runs out. When you find it, that thing will not come for you anymore. What? Why did I go to sleep to begin with? What do you mean, wake up, wake up, what? Uh, okay, well, let me wake up then. Thank you. Silver amulet. Who are you? Your you voice sounds seems familiar. Are you my daughter? There is no time for that. Find the silver amulet before time runs out. It has to be in one of the apartments. Of course. How much time do I have? Time is on my side. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, it's either on the second floor or it's on the first floor. I'm sure we could look through them all in two minutes. But the question then being... Okay, it's not there. Sink. The question is, what does it look like? Is it easy to spot? Does it have a shine to it or not? And is it in a room that was not previously... Um, I'm still going to assume it's on the second floor because it's the furthest. But we got to look everywhere and not overlook something. Like, where's the teddy bear for one thing? Here we got to go upstairs now. I'm not sure what will happen if I don't get the amulet, if I just simply get a retry. I think we got enough time. It's not there. I don't think it'd be in one of the lockers. Like, if something hasn't been openable before, or doesn't look like it has an active uh, script to it. Hmm. Not there. Balloon noise, not there. Hopefully not in that door. Not there. Do -do 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 -do. Got just two rooms left. This should be good unless I fucking went by it. This thing? No. It's an amulet, not a metal. I. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. Problematic. Problematic. Here. That's that's no. It's, kind of, it's, a, it's a CD. Fuck me. Where is it? Where is it? I'm not. I'm not gonna find it. I can't find it! Seriously, like... 
It's gonna be one of those games where it's 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 not. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know where the fuck it is. Where did they put it? I thought it was gonna be something I'd be just sort of sitting like a sore thumb. I'm gonna turn it down because I'm expecting another jump scare. I have no idea where it is then. And incoming potential loud noise. Yeah. Slime again. Where the fuck is it? As long as it doesn't be like, game over, and then I have to start from the beginning, but I start from the counter or timer or whatever. Shigger, where the fuck is that rabbit? The rabbit probably has it. So randomly when this happens, death happens soon after. Is it like, because I was eaten? Stomach acids corroded me? I don't fucking know. Amulet. This place will eat me, apparently. Let's wait for the jump scare, I guess. And I was loud this time. I, my headset's not that loud now. Before, holy shit, I was just like, wow. Loud. Oh, but I have no idea where it is. Oh, yeah, that's a good shit. Okay, and please give me the timer, please. There we go. Now I have to look all over for it again. I don't think it's on the main, the main floor though, but it didn't look like it was anywhere really, to be honest. I have to look twice as hard in the same fucking rooms. Hopefully it wouldn't be just like on the floor here where there's like a bunch of scattered shit. If they did that, that'd be douchey. There is a lot of shit cluttered around here. I wouldn't think it'd be here. I would... I guess... Didn't they say it, it would be in one of the apartment rooms? Yeah, the girl, in the, when the black screen said it would be in one of the apartments. Well, looks like I'm gonna be dead again. Still haven't found it! I'm not sure if it's like, the game... If it, uh, the game deliberately has it so I must fail before it spawns? Like, I, d I don't know. Hmm. Ah, just wait for the jump scare, I guess, again. I don't know. While I'm playing a chicken game on my mobile. What? Wait, what? In the end. Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Why was the bunny? I don't remember a bunny showing up or a chainsaw. The fuck? I was just like standing there waiting for the jump scare and the instant death, and then suddenly fucking Sugar the bunny shows up. An oversized version, of course, but nonetheless. I don't trust the rabbit. Okay, let's go to the rabbit is... The chainsaw's different, so I'm assuming maybe the game forces me to have to fucking die and lose to the timer multiple times. Metal? It's still not here. Oh! Wait, is this it? This is a silver... Oh my, really? It was... The... It was... That's not even a stand -in. What the fuck is it talking about? It's like a fucking... Um... Timer's still going. Uh, like an Aztec fucking coin. I don't fucking know. Okay, oh fucking bunny, what the fuck are you doing here, shigger the piece of shit? Uh, so you want your daughter? She belongs to me now. I don't, I don't, no. You are so miserable, she deserves a better mom? You will have to kill me to take her away from me, but I warn you, I'm not easy to kill. Don't tell me it's gonna be like some kind of weird first person shooter segment of the game where it's like pew 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 and like doom. Is it? But will I actually get to kill it? Oh! Credits. I'm not easy to kill. Oh, but come and do it if you want your daughter back. 
And it's over. Interesting, I guess. Um, Master screams, GPAG one. Monster in pain. Brain claim. Oh. Air raid, siren, modern sound effect, free sound. Alright, well, that was, uh, what the fuck was this called again? Indigar. Indigar. A, uh, I guess an interesting, a quick, quick, a quick, and easy, and simple indie horror game. Oh, not much to say. Um, it's just, that that's all it was, I, I guess you could say. Um, a little weird how they try to make it sound like there should be a segment where we try to kill the bunny to get back our daughter, but I'm guessing maybe there's going to be an end to guard too. I, I don't know. But nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, and subscriber. Bell notification down below for updates to my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. <laughs>